Hello everyone, I'm Michael and I'm a Clean Drain Dry Ambassador and today we'll be talking with boaters and providing information on how to properly clean, drain and dry to protect our beautiful lakes and stop the spread of aquatic invasive species. So let's go find ourselves a boater and chat with them, shall we? Oh, oh there's one right there. Hi, do you mind if I climb on a board and talk to you about proper techniques of clean, drain, dry? Sure. All righty. Do you mind if we take a look in your bait and fish well? Some aquatic invasive species are so small that you can't see them with the naked eye. So make sure to wipe it all down. Make sure it's all drained out. So here we have another fish and bait well. And it's important to drain and dry this, but because of the lean of the boat, it won't properly drain. So make sure you get down in there and dry it out properly. Some aquatic invasive species can live in small amounts of water for up to 30 days. So you wanna make sure that you drain your motor from all the water, wipe down your prop from all plants and any water species, anything like that in there, make sure it is wiped down, drained. Wipe down all the nooks and crannies anywhere where anything can get stuck in. Sure. Um, underneath your vehicle as well, you want to wipe everything down under there. Get all the mud and plants off of that. Next step is to pull the plug. Drain out all the water. Some boats have multiple plugs. Excellent job today, sir. Thanks, Mike. Thoroughly cleaned, drained, and dried. I noticed you went ahead and wiped down your trailer. Yep. That is very important because it in fact goes in the water as well. So you want to clear it from any plants, mud, or any species that could be on there. And you know, if I were an invasive species, you would be my worst nightmare. So don't forget to clean, drain, and dry.